thinking of relocating to Australia. Get ready for an unforgettable adventure. Before you take the plunge, here are 15 essential things to know about living down under. From unique spellings to quirky slang, from stunning beaches to curious critters, Australia has surprises around every corner. So join us as we uncover the fascinating aspects of Australian life. Let's dive in and discover what makes Australia truly remarkable. Are you considering making Australia your new home? Well, get ready for a wild ride filled with surprises and unique experiences. Before you embark on your journey to the land of Oz, let's unravel the mysteries of Australian English, decode their fascinating slang, and learn about the country's love affair with sports and beaches. Not to mention the captivating wildlife and their unexpected victories in the infamous Emu War. If you're ready to embrace the Aussie spirit, join us as we unveil 15 things you must know before moving to Australia. It can be intimidating to relocate abroad, and Australia is no exception. For people traveling to Australia permanently or temporarily on a student visa, it might be difficult to know what to anticipate given the country's numerous large cities, suburban areas, and rural outback. The most crucial information to be aware of before coming to Australia has been compiled by our team. 15. Pay attention to the spelling. The language of Australia was influenced by English colonialism because it was formerly a British prison colony. This means that even though Australian English may sound similar to American English, the rules favor British spelling. The majority of words are spelled similarly to how the Brits would spell them, while some American spellings have gradually seeped in over the years as a result of Hollywood movies. You can use the Macquarie Dictionary to determine the correct Australian spelling if you're ever unsure. 14. Some words are completely changed. If you are unfamiliar with the language and its lexicon, you can find it challenging to go around Australia. There are certain differences to be aware of, even though the vast majority of terms used in the Australian language are comparable to those used in the US. A truck is named a ute, fries are called chips, gas is called petrol, trash cans are called rubbish bins, and most perplexingly, flip-flops are called thongs. More vocabulary distinctions between the American and Australian languages can be found in this infographic. You've been working hard in the classroom, studying a lot, and now you're prepared to use all of your English in a native-speaking nation. Where are you headed is where the issue lies. Even though the US, Australia, the UK, and other countries use English, each has its distinctive lexicon for some things. Even when we think we know a word, confusion can occur when we run into it, even when we are speaking the language. When I was a resident of Australia, I, an English teacher, encountered this bafflement when I requested a lemonade and was instead given a Sprite, lemon lime soda. I ought to have requested a lemon squash instead. 13. Australian slang Australian slang is ingrained in the nation's culture, although occasionally you may question whether locals are using the English language. Even if some common slang terms sound ridiculous or inappropriate without actually having that intention, others, like mozzies for mosquitoes, are fortunately simple to figure out. 12. What about the critters that live there? Although it is a common online joke that everything in Australia is out to get you, that statement is only partially accurate. There are many different varieties of poisonous snakes, but there are only two types of poisonous spiders, and you are unlikely to encounter them when lounging around the house. Only one fatal shark attack occurs annually on average, while stingrays have never been responsible for more than two fatalities. The magpie is one unusual creature you might want to be on the lookout for. These birds will attack people's heads by swooping down on them from a distance of more than 80 meters during the spring, which is also known as swooping season. When you move to Australia, you could be thrilled to see a kangaroo as well. However, in reality, Australians do not view them as particularly unique and kangaroo meat is frequently served on the menu. 11. Australia Day January 26th is designated as a public holiday in Australia. The day in 1788, when convict ships from England landed in New South Wales to mark the beginning of the British colony in Australia, is commemorated on this day. The founding of Australia was the focus of the initial celebrations, but this has caused controversy because the initial nation's people saw this day as the beginning of exploitation, social control, brutality, and sickness. This day is occasionally referred to as Invasion Day, Day of Mourning, or Survival Day by First Nations people. 
The purpose of the holiday has been changed in an effort by the federal government to reflect on what it means to be an Australian, to celebrate contemporary Australia, and to acknowledge our history. 10. Australians drive on the left. Driving is done on the left in Australia, not the right in the US. They walk on the left as well, which greatly lowers the possibility of accidentally running into someone. Keep to the left and pass to the right even when using an escalator. Keep in mind this if you have a valid driver's license, because the steering wheels of Australian vehicles are likewise on the left. 9. Australians love their sport. In Australia, sports are essentially a religion. In contrast to the widespread support for international sports like rugby and cricket among Australians, Australian rules football is a unique sport. The Australian Open tennis competition, the Melbourne Cup horse race, athletics, surfing and soccer are additional events. We advise overseas students visiting Australia to try their hand at one of these sports because private institutions will provide you with the option to do so. Prepare to become the biggest sports fan in the world if you aren't already one. 8. Strict Laws Regarding Guns Following the most recent mass shooting in Connecticut in the United States, and in particular the 1996 Port Arthur Massacre, which involved the use of several assault rifles, as well as the 2002 Monash shootings, which were carried out with a semi-automatic pistol, commentators are once more debating Australia's approach to firearms controls. Current regulatory controls were built on the backs of national agreements made by Australian governments following each incident. The two national accords structure mirrors how the Australian constitution distributes control over weapons regulation. Gun ownership, licensing, use and sales are subject to control by state and local governments. The National Firearms Agreement imposes a ban on all automatic and semi-automatic weapons, as well as a licensing and registration system for firearms. Personal defense is not regarded as a legitimate justification for registering a firearm, which is a requirement for all gun owners. For firearms, there are additional stringent storage regulations. There is no constitutional right to keep and bear guns, and only those who have legitimate justifications for doing so will be able to obtain a shooting license and have their firearms registered. 7. Aussies love their beaches Australians are so devoted to their beaches that they even have a stanza in their national song about the ocean. The beach is an integral aspect of life in coastal cities and towns, where thousands of people frequent them on sunny days. Mermaid Beach, Bondi Beach, and 80 Mile Beach are just a few of Australia's well-known beaches. 6. Their Working Holiday Visa Program Australians take great satisfaction in maintaining a positive work-life balance, which is demonstrated by their Working Holiday Visa program. With this special visa, international visitors between the ages of 18 and 30, who possess a valid passport, may have a long vacation in Australia while working to pay for their travels. Additionally, foreign students should make sure they have the right visa before enrolling at an international school. 5. Their military was defeated twice by the emus. The Great Emu War is probably a topic you have never heard of. The military engaged in two rounds of combat with more than 20,000 emus over one week. The Australian military was called in to defend farms given to veterans from these two meter tall birds in 1932. After the veterans' first harvest, 20,000 emus swarmed the area and began devouring the crops. Soldiers fired at the emus after attempting to herd them, but the enormous birds managed to flee unscathed. The soldiers waited at a drinking hole the following day, and when the birds gathered there, they began firing. Once more, the emus managed to outwit the soldiers and evade their fire. The Australian government ended the emu war after 30 machine guns had been used in vain, and the emus were declared the winners. 4. No pressure to conform to any type of religion. There is no pressure to adhere to any particular faith in Australia, despite the country's astonishing religious diversity. Even though Christianity is the most frequently practiced religion, the Australian constitution forbids the government from interfering with religious freedom or founding a church. This indicates that in Australia, people of all faiths are accepted. 3. Learn the metric system. The metric system is used in Australia. Length is measured in meters. For mass, kilograms are utilized. Prefixes like millimeters or milligrams can be used to augment or decrease these fundamental quantities. You can use this metric conversion tool if you're having trouble. 2. It never gets too cold down under. 
Australia has four distinct seasons, yet it never experiences extreme cold because of its temperate temperature. Although 70% of Australia is classed as one of the three dry, semi-arid, or desert biomes, the remaining 30% of the country is home to tropical regions and even snow. You can still find snow in the mountains, even though Australia doesn't experience extreme cold in the winter, with typical temperatures of 53 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. 1. Take note of your mobile signal. When you leave the cities, paper or offline maps will become your allies. You'll notice that your phone has little or no coverage once you have left populated regions. If you become stranded somewhere without reception, you must either start walking, which might be hazardous in the Australian sun, or wait for assistance to pass by. When traveling a long distance by car, it is best to notify everyone around you of your destination and approximate arrival time. There you have it, 15 intriguing things to know about Australians and life in the land of Oz. From unique spellings to friendly slang and breathtaking beaches to unforgettable wildlife encounters, Australia offers a world of excitement and wonder. So whether you're planning to study, work, or explore, you'll be well prepared for your Australian adventure. And don't miss out on this incredible journey. Subscribe now for more tips and insights on making the most of your life in Australia.